Carrie here from Homestead How. Welcome to our homestead. We're on day 20 of being in lockdown. If you didn't see our video yesterday, check it out. Hashtag masks for all. I think it's a really important video and some uh, new information that's coming out that I think is going to be really important for a lot of people. Today on day 20, I woke up and this is what happened when I turned my water on. We have no water pressure, which is really scary. So the first thing I notice is I have no pressure on my pressure gauge. I definitely have power here. So now the question, are these contacts making good contact? They look like they're touching. Although this one here looks a little crusty. I checked this gauge here, it's at zero. I pulled this cover off and you can see these contacts here. It looks like this one right here is a little crusty. I just put my meter on there and I do have power there so that's good. So I'm going to go hit the breaker and I'm going to try to clean those contacts off and make sure that they're making good contact. It almost looks like that one is a little crusty like there's a little burn mark on it or something. So right here. Alright I think I got the correct breaker this time. That's better. So this may be a long shot, but these uh, contacts here, this one looks pretty rough. And luckily I have, a, hopefully the proper tool for the job, I have this thin, flat file. Kind of hard to see. I'm going to stick it down between those contacts and file it off just to make sure it's getting a good connection. Alright, I'm going to go hit the breaker and see if that did anything. Thank goodness. Uh, good contact there because this contact on the right was... This contact on the right there was in really bad shape before I filed it down with this little file here. Hopefully that starts going up now. I hear it humming though, so that is really, really good news. And where the pressure's going up. Oh, thank goodness. That is scary. Water. Lack of water, really scary. Put this cover back on. They are still getting out. We still haven't fixed it properly. There's a little like three inch by three inch gap in it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Is that the one that attacks me? No. Alright, we'll see if this little, you know what, comes after me. I think I'm gonna be smarter. I'm gonna go move this out first. Because I know he doesn't stay in here. Good morning, girls. Now I won't be cornered. Alright. Good morning, girls. Good morning. There he is. You gonna bother me? Come on. All right. He doesn't bother me. We'll see. Maybe today he will. Oh, yep. He's looking at me. You gonna bite my finger? Oh boy. Hi. What you doing? Hello. Hi, Speedy. Hi, girls. They're still finding a way out. I'll have to fix it again. Little turds. Smallest hole they can get out of. All right, so I will tell you something that we all take for granted. I know that I do. Um, I was just gonna wash my hands from being outside and doing the chickens, and now I'm gonna water my flowers, or my vegetables rather, that are growing really amazing. Um, 
But I went to go wash my hands and my gosh, Carrie fixed the water. It's an amazing thing because I don't know what we would do without water. So the things that we take for granted that I know I and my family do. Um, so thank you, Carrie. But I'm going to water my plants really quick. They're doing really well. Um, I'm going to be thinning them out pretty soon. But I'm moving all the ones that are growing to the left and waiting for these ones to grow. I, I planted them all at the same time, but you never know. So <clears throat> all the ones to the left I've been... Moving over, it's mostly our broccoli and our tomatoes that have been growing. some prescriptions and drop some thing off at the bank. It's kind of nice to get out. Baxter's happy to get out, go for a real car ride. You see how his paws up right there? That's because in our old car, the uh, window opener closer thing was right on the top there. So now he's trying to open the window is what actually what he's doing right now. If he could speak to you, that's what he would say. <laughs> Should I open it for him? Yes. He figured it out! No, I just been trying to push it again. It worked! <laughs> 30 minutes later, it worked! It worked! Ray, look, it worked! Have you ever seen a more happier dog? What about Ray? Ray's pretty happy. Ray, are you happy? You happy to go for a ride in the car? Baxter's got a big smile on his face. He keeps opening the door. Bax, are you happy? Ray's happy. Ray's always happy. He's Who farted? I know what the heck. Oh, jeez, Ray. You're so happy you crapped your pants. Oh, my goodness, Ray. What did you eat? I know that's not a Baxter smoke because Baxter's is worse than that. Oh, I gave him some of that food you made. Ray! It's some cheese. You it's ate lactose. cheese? You can't have lactose, he poops. <laughs> Ray's lactose and child, right? <laughs> no, but when dogs have Should lactose. Should we get you some almond milk, Ray? When dogs have oh, lactose. Oh boy, that stinks. Everybody's been there and I don't need no vacation. Come Lord Jesus, be our guest and let these gifts to us be blessed. Amen. Why did you say it? Someone can rake it up. Hi. Do you want me to put her against the... She wants to fuck? Yeah, she's had enough. Louie, who's singing that? Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato? Yeah. Jen, we should get this hole right here. Next to the yellow frisbee. Dad, do you have anything to say? That's all I gotta say about that. Mom, look, I keep making you stop. Willie, what's up? Willie. I'm gonna Sally. zoom in like on the office. Sally. Zoom in in the office. Sally. I don't zoom in that far. Sorry, Dwight. I'm, I'm not as Dwight. You know you are, you're that really annoying guy at the office. Kevin? Yeah. Toby. Don't no. say I'm Toby, that would just be mean. Whoever gets into everybody's business all the time. <laughs> Kevin. Yes. So I'm the big fat guy. Yes! And where are we putting those? Oh, by the house so we can have some water.
so we can reuse this piece. So this was our old little rain barrel, 55 gallon drum. This one is 275 gallons, I think. Does it say? 200 something gallons. We're gonna put a screen up here. I'm gonna put a screen up here so I don't get any insects or bugs in. So I got this scrap piece of PVC left, but it's kind of on an angle. So if I put it like this, that's aiming that way when I want it to aim this way. So I think I'm gonna put it right here on the side of this, and then it'll go straight out where I want it to. Metal mesh, you don't get any mice in, and then this is gonna go in here. Then we're gonna drill a Just perfectly. So we can reuse this piece. So this is pretty crazy. Yesterday morning, literally yesterday morning, I woke up and I was having nightmares. Okay, that's being a little dramatic. But I was thinking, man, our water situation is dire here if our electricity ever goes out. Talked about this before. We tried to dig an emergency well last summer. We failed. A bunch of people suggested, what about doing rainwater? That was a really good idea. So this is what we got. Yesterday, I looked these up online. They were like $500 to have a new one delivered here with the delivery. Jen went on and found one on Craigslist. And we got these for $75 a piece times three. We've got two more over there and the guy delivered it. The total bill was... 275 for three of them. 275, so it would have been 75, 150. It would have been 225, he charges $50 for delivery. Dropped off all three of them. So we've got this one hooked up. I've got a screen in here so we don't get any critters in here. I already had this stuff from a previous rainwater. We just had a little barrel before. Um, I wanna put something heavier like this metal so you can't get any critters down in there, but this doesn't quite fit that. But that'll work for now. So that's that. And then we did an overfill over here. Again, without going to Menards, using stuff we had, I drilled a hole and then I heated this up a little bit and expanded it. I pushed this piece in and this piece is in here pretty tight. It's not watertight yet. I think I may have some like um, plastic epoxy that I could put around here. It's not the end of the world if this does leak, it's gonna mostly just go down here under the ground anyways, and this corner is kind of over the cement. But we wanted to go in this tube and then go away from the house once this tank gets completely full. Um, so we're not gonna have to worry about that for a while, but I am gonna take care of that right away and see if I can get some sort of epoxy or something to hold that in. Oh, the really crazy thing is, on the very next morning, which was this morning, I woke up, I went in the bathroom, I went to flush the toilet, nothing happened. I went over to the sink, I turned it on, nothing was coming out of the sink. Our well was broken. So if you're watching this video, you saw earlier in the video, that was what I did most of the morning, troubleshooting our well, and thankfully, it wasn't like a bad well pump. I was able to figure out what the problem was. I used a file to clean off the contacts on the pressure switch, and I got the well working again, thankfully. But it's kind of crazy. Yesterday, I was panicking about water, and the very next day, all of our well went off, which has never happened before. We've never had any issues with it. So feeling pretty good that we have these as a backup. So this one's set up and I'm gonna set up another one on the other side of our property next to our external garage. And then I made you another, the third one over by the dog kennel. All right, that's all I gotta say about that.